In this episode of Trending Today, we will follow the journey of America's rugged entrepreneur, Scott Andrew. Scott Andrew has built his rugged empire and empowered business owners all over the United States through his company, Retail Service Systems, and his two franchise models, Box Drop and BioPure. On our first stop with the Rugged Rodeo, we meet Karen LeBlanc at the RSS Conference in Louisville, Kentucky, where the best of the best gather as one to motivate to the next level with interactive training, dynamic guest speakers, and this year, the reveal of the new Rugged Entrepreneur mascot. Keep watching and find out how you could become a Rugged Entrepreneur. We're here at the RSS Conference in Louisville, Kentucky, at the Galt House, and it is opening night. We have a gathering of rugged entrepreneurs, where we're going to learn how RSS is helping them achieve the American dream. It's absolutely amazing. Everybody in Box Drop is like family. Everybody takes you with open arms. If you've been in there a month or three years, they're, they're willing to help you no matter what. I think our country is built on entrepreneurialism, and most of them I would consider to be rugged entrepreneurs. So it's people who find an idea, who see a need, and they figure out a way to make it work and turn it into a business. And I think our country is built on that. You know, working hard, sacrificing more than you're willing to dream to be successful, and, and giving back and trying to help you know the, the person next to you and the the people you're serving as much as you can. A rugged entrepreneur is just somebody who's gonna do whatever it takes to get to the top or reach their goals. Over the next three days here in Louisville, Kentucky, we're gonna tell you about this innovative company that's like one big, smart, successful family that empowers rugged entrepreneurs. The growth of this company is absolutely phenomenal but I really always wanted to have a way to empower entrepreneurs, to help other people own their own business and promote entrepreneurialism, capitalism, and just just capture that spirit and help other people have it. My rugged dream was to improve and positively impact the lives of other people. Tonight, we are at a private dinner for the Rugged 300. These are Box Drops top performing business owners. Man, I love it that about half our company is rugged 300s now. <laughs> I love it when people say, well, you know, you've got such a huge company or you're in, you know, 300 plus locations and uh, how do you, how do you control all that? The great thing is we don't control it because they all are independent owners. They are all rugged entrepreneurs. This truck just captures that spirit and it's, it's about empowering entrepreneurs everywhere. It has been amazing. Just the inspiration here, the power that's going on here, it's about community. It's not necessarily you know people talking at each other as much as it is listening to what everybody else has to say because our stories are always very similar. Following three motivational days at the Rugged Rodeo, we head to the Rugged headquarters in Dublin, Ohio. We'll hear from the team that is leading the rodeo with drive and unparalleled passion. Are you feeling rugged yet? I'm here with Scott Andrew, who is the leader of the Retail Service Systems team, but also the creator of the Rugged Entrepreneur. What made you want to start this family and what is rugged to you? Oh boy, it's a, it's a lifetime of experience, but America's a rugged country, first and foremost, and uh, our history just makes us rugged. And we love being rugged, we're proud of it. But an uh, entrepreneur, only about 10% of people in America at any given time own their own business. I uh, read a study one time that said, the Wall Street Journal said, 69% of Americans dream of owning their own company, but really only about 10 to 15% of Americans ever decide to become entrepreneurs. And most of those don't make it. 
You gotta be tough, you gotta be rugged. An American as a whole is a rugged individual, but an American who chooses to make it on their own independently as an entrepreneur, start their own business, do everything it takes to make that business work and grow, that's an extra rugged breed. So I just love the concept of rugged entrepreneur and uh, fortunate enough to write a book about it. My wife and I have owned about 20 different companies over the last 25, 30 years and I've seen hundreds of people have business success, but the ones who really make it well, that they have an extra sense of ruggedness about them. And it's just a term that's stuck. And it feels good to, to know you're a rugged entrepreneur. What's so great about Box Drop is the rugged entrepreneurs that we have as a company. Our dealers, our entrepreneurs, they come from all different kinds of backgrounds. Some are teachers, some are executives, a variety of backgrounds, and they've never been in the furniture business before, a mattress, so they've come into this. All they want to do is own their own business. That's exactly what we do for them. We give them soup to nuts and tell them exactly how they can do that. The fact that when a consumer comes into our dealer's locations, they're not just some pushy salesperson that's trying to sell them a mattress. Their whole goal is just to get their customer a bed and they know that they'll make money in the end and everybody, it'll be a win-win for everybody. Jerry, as the president of Boxdrop, what does this disruptive private label offering do for you and your partners? It's just so important because our dealers have these private label products that they won't see anywhere else. You can't shop our products. We make them exactly how our people want them made. So what we do is we provide private label products with our own labels, our own specific fabrics. We build the mattress to the specifications so you're not gonna find that mattress anywhere else. The biggest thing for us is being able to work one-on-one -on -one with the different manufacturing partners and the people that we deal with so they understand the true aspect of what we're looking for and what we're trying to get for our dealers in the end. It's been a phenomenal uh, eight years. We've grown rapidly. Uh, we've uh, gone 650,000 manufacturing square feet over the last eight years, over 500 employees. We just uh, last year just shipped our millionth piece in one year at the end of last year. It's operations like this with Dennis and Souls to Sleep that make my job a whole lot easier. It allows us to flow product consistently to our customers and then on to the end users. You know, when you look at United Lane Upholstery and you look at Souls to Sleep and you look at what they've built, we love it that they have a long-term approach in a world just dominated by private equity and other things where sometimes the approach isn't as long, Mike Watson and Dennis and the whole group, Jay Quimby and the whole group of companies, it's fun to do business with them because they take a long-term kind of family approach. They're rugged entrepreneurs just like we are and we love it. Now we're heading back to the Retail Service Systems headquarters to learn more about these rugged entrepreneurs. You come in, it says RSS, Empowering Entrepreneurs. And Empowering Entrepreneurs is our mission statement. So a lot of our team, our customer service team here, wears a hat that says Empowering Entrepreneurs. And we have the rugged entrepreneur hats for our licensees and franchisees, and people love it. And my wife Daphne and I have done a lot together, but we've always been really good at building great teams. You know, Steve Jobs said, Nothing great happens in business without a great team. And we have been really good at putting together great teams of people. Amy, as the controller here at Retail Service Systems, you have been with this team as a rugged entrepreneur from the very get-go. Can you tell me about this map we have behind you and how this has grown and what it represents for you and RSS? Well, the map is means a lot to us as, a, as the entire organization. Uh, back in 2013, we had just 18 people. We had Don and Nancy Macbeth. They were part of our core group of people. So we had just 18 spots on the map. And then through the years, it's grown and grown. And people said, you can feel it and touch it. And it's like, look, look, all these people, they mean something so very much to us. Gary, what are the actual qualifications to get you to the million dollar cheeseburger? Well, it's, it's very simple. They have to have a million dollars in purchases for that calendar year. So, you know, we have our division business coaches and myself that look at the stats 
almost every day and it's like a scorecard. So we're always looking at that scorecard to see where they're at. Now our goal is to help these dealers achieve success. So when they reach these great milestones, it's like, you know, we share in that success and we're really excited for them to come in here and, and get that award. And we're just cheering them on because that's what we do in dealer support. So what's so great about being an entrepreneur with Boxdrop is everything we do, we do to empower entrepreneurs. For our dealers across the country, we only want them to worry about selling. They place an order with us, we take care of everything, whether there's damages or shortages or warranties, we take care of the whole thing for them. So again, it gives them more time to sell and less worrying about the details. In 2013, when Scott and Daphne took over and acquired our small group. I was a part of 17 people that were left from the previous company, which was at a high of 132. And when they took over, Scott came to our facility, sat down in our office with my wife and I, and talked to us for two hours straight, asking us what he could do to help empower us and to make us more successful. And that was the first time in the previous seven years that I'd been with somebody that actually asked what we thought. And then the key to all that was when he left, there were changes made in the company that allowed us to grow our business and to become successful. All the way up to, to 2018 when we finished 11th in the company as far as sales purchases go out of 242. So they grew the company from 17 to 242. And we've been one of the fastest growing companies in America for several years in a row. And the fastest growing company here in Dublin, Ohio, two years in a row. It's been very, very special. We've just got an amazing team of people, but we ought to have it because our customers are all rugged entrepreneurs. So every box drop or bio pure licensee or franchisee they're all rugged entrepreneurs and they're out there doing what they have to do day in day out to make their business work for them and their families and we're here to support that without them there wouldn't be a need for us when the company was formed it didn't have any trademarks it didn't have any brand names but today we've got the box drop brand we've got bio pure and there'll be others in the future the company just kept getting bigger and you know, we referred to it in our law firm as that mattress company and it was almost a running joke, you know, they're up to so many dealers now and you know, the other attorneys in the firm just couldn't believe it. And the lawsuits that I was involved in in my law firm often tore families apart, tore businesses apart. I wanted to be a part of building a business and so I told Scott, I want to be part of building something. There's a company out there for me, made for me, that's going to love me, they're going to want everything that I have to offer. When I walked in and saw the building, I said, I have to work here. I have to be here. Do what you do, what you're good at, and it's appreciated. Who wants to be part of the Rugged Rodeo now? This team is full of opportunities for true entrepreneurs to build the life and business of their dreams with two of the fastest growing franchises in the U.S. with Biopure and Boxdrop. Now we'll show you the continued support and education that RSS provides to its rugged nation. People and teams that come into the RSS family come in as rugged entrepreneurs, but what makes a great rugged entrepreneur is the commitment to continuing education, just like the sessions we're having this week in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. So we do See America trainings every two months, just about in some region in the country. Right. And this place is just dedicated to empower rugged entrepreneurs. We're just so happy to be here and just to be able to get all the information and knowledge that we can, you know, from all the trainings and different things like that. So we're very fortunate. Tell us a little bit about the growth of your store and how this training has helped. So we've actually only been open since November, but I guess say just from what we've learned and be able to know what we can implement now, it's going to be, I mean, a game changer completely. And it was a 16 hour drive, but we easily would have done it twice as long just for the game information we received. The biggest part of training that people need to learn is to keep it simple and follow the process. We try and teach them, you know, how to focus on the things that are important. I get to uh, bring people together and connect them. And, and, you know, one of the special things about RSS and, you know, everyone is there to help each other and support each other. So, you know, there's, there's always uh, lifelong friendships that are created and built and, and people supporting each other. 
but this is our national training center. It's about 25,000 square feet. We actually have four models. So we have box drop mattress, box drop mattress and sofa, box drop mattress and furniture. And then this whole thing is actually a super box drop. And a super box drop is, um, it's a wholesale retail operation. So it operates as a retailer and it also operates as a wholesale distribution center for this region of box drop rug and entrepreneurs. How important is partner feedback and dealer feedback for your shopping process? Oh, it's huge and I love it. I mean, we'll have dealers come up to us, whether it be a training or at a conference, letting us know our impact. In fact, the, our last training that we just did in Louisville, we let our dealers vote on different covers, which was great. And then based off the feedback we got, that shows what products we were gonna go with. Um, and we've made a couple more changes, gone back to the drawing board, but again, bringing them something that they feel confident in when uh, they're on the floor with their customer. The reason we're so disruptive are our rugged entrepreneurs and our mission simple. It's two words, empowering entrepreneurs. We call them ruggeds, rugged entrepreneurs, because you got to have a lot of grit to make it in business for yourself. We've got great models. We've got great methodologies. We have several trade secrets we've perfected that give our business owners a competitive advantage. But deep down inside, if you don't have the spirit to be a rugged entrepreneur, you probably won't make it in business. And we're very proud of the fact that we have such a low attrition rate. Most of our businesses succeed and some of them succeed at a very high level. So we like to believe that that's our team committed to empowering entrepreneurs. BioPure has made its mark in the market with a patented germ remediation system, keeping homes, offices, warehouses, venues, and more all safe from germs. Let's take a closer look at the leaders at BioPure, protecting the health of millions. Stronger Together, a Tri-Cities business is giving back in the midst of COVID-19. Infection experts in Greenville are sharing some tips on how to prevent the spread of germs. BioPure, a Johnson City-based disinfectant company, treated Second Harvest Food Bank in Kingsport. I spoke with a germ expert who says it's not so much about, quote, cleaning, but more so about sanitizing and disinfecting. BioPure is really special to me. I help a young man it started with that business years ago, Brandon Kinder, he's the president of BioPure now. When we look at sanitizing and disinfecting, we can all do that in our home with the products that are readily available today over the counter. The problem is you're only partially effective um, in terms of, you might be able to get the top of the counter to clean, but you're not getting up underneath or behind the chair, every light switch or every doorknob. So we took a very proven, very safe technology in terms of our chemistry, and then we married that with an application method that we use electrostatics, and that just takes our efficiency from say 40 to 60 percent to dang near 100. What we wanted to do with BioPure, we see the future is being able to be on the other side of it and be on the preventative side of it. It's an, an invisible problem with an invisible solution, but tangible issues. So you have to treat your children, you have to treat your illnesses and things like that. So what we see with this is a way to prevent that from happening. Some really major national brands Clemson University, Primrose Schools, and Chick-fil-A are three brands that we're so proud of. And you know, Karen, they're looking at this problem, superbugs, the threat it brings to their customers, their employees, the family members. These top brands want to get out in front of this problem, and it becomes part of their marketing value proposition. They're saying, hey, we're taking the extra step to fight a growing problem for our customers. What we've been able to do is package it in a very uh, easy to use package and we put it into a better delivery system called electrostatics. And so our electrostatic machine, we can bring into a home and we can efficiently and effectively and quickly treat a home or a commercial environment or a restaurant or a daycare. We actually can treat 300 square feet a minute. I think it's a really um, great opportunity to help people. And it's the cutting edge cleaning. What we saw it as is a service that's needed in the marketplace and the time's right for it. More importantly, it's a business model where a rugged entrepreneur can, can really go out and make that business work and provide a great service at a great value. And that's really at the heart of having a good business model. Space for microbial germ remediation, it sounds you're doing something good.
following three motivational days at the Rugged Rodeo, we head south to sunny Florida to learn more about where the RSS Rat Rod mascot was born. We'll meet the family behind this booming brand at FSD Hot Rod Ranch. I tell people now, this is the most important business of my life. It actually is the most fun business of my life. We have lots of customers. We've done 500 cars, sold 500 cars, taken in 300 trades in the last three years. But I've ran businesses my whole life. But I've never really tried to sow into my children what I've learned about business and life. And I thought, what if I started a business that Josh had such a passion for? And at the same time, I could teach them everything I've learned through the School of Hard Knocks and everything else. This is our garage, and we have a wide variety of just about every type of car you can think of. From like rat rods to hot rods, street rods to Except of like wrestling mods and almost classics and then some of the most insane radical builds there is. This is a 1967 Camaro. This thing was built for the World of Wheel shows back in the 80s and 70s. And it's absolutely one of a kind show car. It looks like a cruiser from anywhere on the streets, but under the hood of this car, is an absolute insanely built 427 V8. The thing about it, it's 850 horsepower. And that's before the nitrous. If you like vehicles, you're in trouble. If you don't like vehicles, you're in trouble. The first time I came here, they delivered us the perfect customized rat rod for rugged entrepreneurs. And we came back yesterday because we're picking her up today. And I couldn't help but talk to Steve a little bit more. And the next thing I know, he's selling us a rugged 1974 military Land Rover that spent some time in Morocco, but they are butt kicking. Okay, so we made our way over to the FSD shop and garage. Mm -hmm. This is where kind of the before is, and these cars get that love and attention that they need. What does a day look like in here? We have three mechanics, and each one is pretty much a master in their own area. We have Jeff, who is our master mechanic. He actually built a Duesenberg for Pebble Beach. Wow. We have Lee, who is an electrical and wiring engineer. And we have Freddie, who is basically hands-on with everything and can make an engine look brand new. This is pretty much where everything happens, as you can tell. We have lifts, we have open bays, we have tools. Everything that you could think of that you need to do on a hot rod or a street rod or a muscle car, even restoration, we can do it here. About four and a half years ago, my wife became ill and I stayed home and took care of her for a year and a half and she passed away. And while I was home, I got to work with my son who just loves cars. And, and, and basically, I didn't have anything else to do. And so while working with him and working with the, the cars, we just decided it would be a great career. My daughter, after we were in this for a short period of time, decided that she wanted to be part of it. She came from a whole different world than cars. And then three years, she's become a little car expert. I knew about cars, but it was nothing that I was very like, really in depth with knowledge about. And now that I kind of uh, price all of our cars out and I work on um, figuring up the values on them, I probably know more than they do combined, even though they wouldn't admit that. She is wonderful dealing with our customers. She's the one who found this ranch that we live in now that's such a beautiful ranch and has all the facilities that we can take. We have our own shop with three mechanics and the ability to store all of our cars. But it's a, it's a rip-roaring business and it's a lot of fun and it's probably the, the, the never imagined at this age that I'd have something this fun to do. I think we're more of just like a family business, but we're more of a family to our customers than a dealer. We really invite people to the FSD Hot Rod Ranch. The only way you can experience who we are and what we do is to meet Loriana and to meet Joshua and give me the opportunity to show you what we do and how well we can take care of you. If you have a need for a hot rod or a classic car, Wow, that was quite the ride on the rodeo of rugged entrepreneurs. 
our journey with two of the fastest growing franchises in the U.S., Biopure and Boxdrop, make you feel those rugged roots. And that is what stands out about retail service systems. They empower entrepreneurs with vastly different backgrounds and goals to achieve their dreams personally and professionally, taking their team of entrepreneurs to new heights of success. If you want to take a walk on the rugged side, visit RetailServiceSystems.com to learn more about Biopure, Boxdrop, and the RSS team. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Trending Today.